Like last week, I decided to record Fundy's RNG difficulty, and it was insanely challenging. It was, it was incredibly difficult. So I made my own difficulty that would be able to make the game a little easier, though quite a bit different. So before we dive in, guys, go down and check if that subscribe button is red. If it is, turn it gray. You can always change your mind later and unsubscribe if you want. I've got for us here today, our grandma difficulty. We're gonna change off of peaceful, not easy, not normal, but we're gonna change it to the grandma difficulty. Now in grandma difficulty, there's a few things to be aware of. For example, it takes a lot longer because of our age to be able to break wood. But in order to compensate for that, when we actually get the wood broken, we get double the drop. So two oak logs instead of one. And this works for many different things than just the logs. I believe it also works for like, let's say, what's something else that's simple? Maybe a dirt block. So two more logs there. And if we break a dirt block, it's gonna take a lot longer to break, but we're gonna get two dirt. I don't know when we would ever use two dirt, but we get two dirt. So of course, then we are able to be able to craft about at the same speed, it just takes longer to break the block, but we get double the drop. And in grandma difficulty, as you can see right here, we have mining fatigue always on, which is what's causing us to be able to, you know, take way too long to break blocks. We can craft a crafting table like normal though. And inside the crafting table, we can get the sticks. And because our eyes are bad, we can actually craft a pickaxe in the crafting table just by placing the planks anywhere, as long as we have three of them. So we could do this layout, we get a pickaxe. That layout, we get a pickaxe. This layout, we get a pickaxe. Literally any layout, we get a pickaxe using those three planks and the two sticks. In addition to that, also another thing that's needed is our sword, but we still have bad eyes, so we can craft a sword with any layout as well. Literally anything, normal layout over here, up there, doesn't matter. We can craft a sword however we need in the crafting table. As long as we've got two planks and one stick in there, we're able to get our sword as well, which is honestly quite neat. It makes it really easy to just quickly jump into the crafting table and you don't have to place things down in a precise order, just anywhere and you get your item. Thankfully though, for some reason, we can still craft our wooden ax and we'll be able to craft any ax. That's the only recipe that works for the ax though. I don't know, grandma doesn't make sense anymore. Another thing that is incredibly neat about grandma's difficulty is that ore spawns right at the surface. Diamond ore you could see right there just spawned instantly. We'll see if we can get some iron so we can actually mine it because I'm pretty confident that even in this difficulty, we can't actually mine the ore unless we have the correct pickaxe. We can go ahead and just put that to the test really fast though. It's gonna take so long because of mining fatigue. Let's see though if we get a diamond this way. Let's find out, come on, give me the goods. Nope, but good thing we didn't waste it because there's so much more sitting right here. And there's the iron right there actually. Okay, this is a perfect example. In the corner you see it says, oh no, looks like you tripped. You have a random chance of tripping because your knees aren't very good anymore. Obviously all those years on earth have made the knees weak. So at any random moment while you're walking, you could trip and you take like a half heart or a full heart of damage because you tripped on the ground. But let's grab our iron and be able to get some stuff here. Let's move on and get this diamond. It's just a very slow process with grandma's arms. Okay, finally, we can get our, our furnace crafted. The furnace works like normal, nothing crazy here. We should be able to just use the furnace as we normally would. Nothing happens with the furnace because grandma knows how. That's how grandma, grandma grew up with the furnace. That's how she heated the house. She didn't have heating like we have today. Grandma had to manually toss some coal in the furnace in order to keep the house warm. Woo! Works as expected. Gotta grab a few more logs while that's going because we wasted so much on the demonstration. So let's go ahead and just grab a couple and then head back. Oh, and as you can see, you also take damage from jumping any more than two blocks. And that's because your knees aren't as good as they used to be, just like the tripping. So anytime you fall more than two blocks, you can take damage, but uh, the health comes back pretty quickly because it's supposed to be an easy difficulty. So it makes sense, but it doesn't make sense. Let's grab our iron. We got all five there ready to rock. Get our pickaxe. Now we can get a little bit faster because we got the iron pickaxe. Still somewhat slow, but you know, it does all right. Get some more iron going. And now let's see if we can get the diamonds. Here we go. Woo! Grandma left. 
led us to diamond early. We got almost a full upgrade to the diamond pickaxe right now. I mean, and now we do right here. We can easily plop that like that, and then some diamonds like that. I think we found, oh, we need two sticks. I was like, I think we found the one way that it doesn't work. But yeah, we got the diamond pickaxe, boom. And just like that, we've got our full set of diamond armor. And you might be wondering, hey, Bari, why do you have so many arrows in you? Well, while I was mining, I uh, ran into a skeleton archer and I let him shoot me over and over and over and over again because in grandma difficulty, instead of mobs doing damage to you, they actually heal you. So if I had some health missing right now, we would actually be recharged by this skeleton, but he's already got so many arrows in us that we're just recharging instantly. No matter how hard this man tries, he will not be able to take us out at all. We'll just be able to walk right up to him and just whack him down easily. And slowly more ore is spawning around. I didn't even know this was actually a thing. There was no ore here. It was all cobblestone, stone cobblestone. And this just spawned a bunch of diamond here and a bunch of gold ore as well. So that's another plus to playing on grandma difficulty. Randomly diamond spawns beneath you, just shows up. Now, though we won't ever have to worry about taking too much damage, if we do happen to take some mobs down, we get double the drop and it's already cooked for us. So take down this pig and you can see we got 10 pork chops from that pig. This one, we have 16 pork chops right now. Another 10 cooked pork chops. And we already have 26 cooked pork chops from three pigs. However, if we go up to these leaves, let's say we break down some of these leaves. We got an apple drop, an apple drop, an apple drop. One thing you do know about grandmas is that their teeth aren't very good. In fact, it's very common for an older lady or gentleman to be wearing dentures because they don't have their real teeth anymore. And you can't eat an apple if you got dentures. And so it says, you can't eat that. It'll break your dentures. So the apples are useless. You can't, they just break in, in your hand. As soon as you try to eat them, it just instantly busts right in front of you. This might be the weirdest, easiest version of Minecraft ever created. You really don't have to worry about anything. You just can't eat apples. All I ever wanted after turning 100 years old was to be able to munch one more apple. Now there is one more thing that I really wanna show you guys. So I'm gonna start preparing for that, but I want to see how difficult it is to survive the night in grandma mode, because I have a feeling it's gonna be incredibly easy with the mobs not being able to do almost anything to us. And we can literally just farm as much food as we could possibly want. But the thing I'm going to need is a lot of wool. So let's hunt down all the sheep while we're at it, because we need a bunch of wool in order to get what I'm thinking about. And you guys might be able to guess what it is. So leave a comment down below if you have any idea what we're gonna be crafting with wool that would be related to grandmas. And the mobs are out now, so here we go. The real test, go ahead, fight me, fight me. They can't do anything to me. None of these mobs can do anything, the creeper. So in grandma difficulty, you really don't have to worry about the night. It's not very dangerous. You're gonna be totally fine as long as you don't run into one of those creepers and just stand next to him while he blows you up. However, you can't sleep in grandma difficulty uh, because it warns you if you go to sleep, you might not wake up, which is definitely something that grandma has to worry about. You might just get, you know, fall into an eternal sleep at that age. That would be unfortunate. Look, wake up another villager, try to sleep. The bed gets destroyed, but it pops in our inventory so we can set it out somewhere. But chat does tell us we might not wake up if we go to sleep, so we better be careful. No matter how hard we try, we cannot fall asleep in grandma difficulty. It will set our respawn point. It just won't actually let us turn it to daylight because we may not ever see the daylight ever again. Okay, there is a very sweet, oh, do I need, I actually need more wool. I need just one more wool. You guys are probably catching on to what this is gonna be. Thank you, got my wool, back to the village. Okay, get into the safety of grandma's home. Thank you, I'm sorry, joining you guys. Hello, 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 good to see you all. Get ourselves a crafting table because we left our other one back behind. We can use our wool to craft grandma's sweater. And this thing is, is, is sweet and it says handmade with love. Grandma personally spent the time to knit this sweater one thread at a time. We got plus eight armor, plus three armor toughness, and plus one knockback resistance, which is definitely better than our diamond chest plate right now. And it also gives us that full regeneration every single moment we're wearing it. So this is exactly the same as netherite armor, except it was made with love by grandma. And it also comes with regeneration. So now I wonder if you're gonna be able to take us out. Barely. 
didn't do any damage. Instant recharge. Can we stand right next to a creeper now? <laughs> Grandma's sweater not good enough to stand next to the creeper. Definitely not good enough to stand next to the creeper. But good thing we get to keep it just fine. We don't ever have to worry about making another one. And literally every other mob except the explosion from the creeper is completely harmless. So in about 15 minutes, we got a full set of diamond armor, the equivalent of netherite armor, and racked up a whole gourmet selection of food. Survived a whole night. Not bad. Anytime we wanted to go find more ore, all we gotta do is dig straight down. Maybe digging straight down is the one thing we have to worry about on top of the creepers that actually can be dangerous. Can grandma survive the dig straight down? So far she's doing all right. So far she's doing all right. Hit our knees a little bit, but landed on two massive diamond, three massive diamond veins. Okay, this definitely made Minecraft way too easy. This is, this is way too simple. How much time I've spent searching for diamond. All I had to do in all the worlds I've ever played is switch to grandma difficulty.